Hey, good morning. How in the world is everyone doing? Welcome to Breakthrough Walls. I am Ken Walls and I'm your host. And I got to tell you something. I hope you all had a very, very Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. If not, I hope you had a wonderful holiday, whatever you celebrate. So, um, listen, I have the youngest guest I've ever interviewed on the show today. And um, my buddy Chuck Studebaker reached out to me and said, Dude, you have got to interview this guy. You're not going to believe this kid and what he's doing in the world. And so I am pretty excited to, to have this, this young man on. He's, he's a... Uh, He's a go-getter. You'll, you guys are about to find out. So listen, I want to, without any more from me, I want to welcome my new buddy, Zeph Everson, to the show. Zeph, welcome to the show. Hi. <laughs> How are you, buddy? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing wonderful, man. I'm doing great. So um, you live in, in Georgia, right? Right. Okay. And, and normally I, you know, I ask my guests because they're all old, old, old people like me. I ask them, hey, where were you born and raised and what was life like as a child and things like that. But hey, you're, you're 10 years old. Yeah. So, so it's, you still got a lot of time left, man. So, so the, you know, this show is about um, helping people. People, because people out there, the grown-ups in this world, have a have a tendency of going through crazy things in life, and then they get stuck. And and so, um, you know, I, I want I want people to hear your story because it's absolutely mind blowing what you're doing. So um, let's talk about. Um, where like you you found a problem that exists in the world right right what is that problem Zeph and how did you discover it that problem is that not everybody is able to play on the playground and at school because they it's inaccessible it's not accessible to everybody at school. What What do you mean by that? Some kids can't get on it because because um, of their disabilities. Oh, I got you. So, what? How did you? What What happened that that caused you to discover this is an issue or a problem? I saw one of my friends saying to his side one day. First, I thought I was in trouble, but when I went up to ask him, he he just said, "Nah, I'm I just can't get on the on playground. That's why I just stay up here on the blacktop." Why? What? Why would? Why wasn't he able to get on the playground? Because there's boundaries, and if he did go on the playground, there's wood chips, which he he would just sink into, just like quicksand. Was he, was he, like, not able he's to walk? He's in a wheelchair. Oh, he's in a wheelchair. And this is a friend of yours? Yes. Okay. And and so, at that moment, what, did it make you mad? Uh, it, it made me angry. Yeah. Um, and, and. So when when you got angry about it, what what did you do? What was the what was the first thought that you had? You, your friend who's who's um, has some disabilities. He's in a wheelchair and and he cannot access the playground. So he just had to sit on the side on the blacktop and watch all the other kids play. Right. Right. And and so you got upset about this and decided to do something about it. Right. What was that? What was that thing that you decided to do? Um, when I went home, I researched and found out. I did research and found out that there was play equipment that was suitable for them. Really. For everybody. And how did you, what, you, so you just got on the computer and started Googling it? Um, yes. Okay. 
And why did you like ask the schools or did you say, hey, why? I asked, uh, asked Miss Young, who is my principal, the next day. What? So tell me about that. Well, I wrote her a letter, actually. You did? Yes. And what happened? I so had you... a picture of one of of my friends sitting to the side. Oh wow. And solutions. And and solutions. And what? And solutions were in the letter. And what did Miss Young say? What do you say? What what, and what did she say about your letter? Did you hand deliver it to her? Or did you mail well, it? I I hand delivered it to her. To your principal of your school. Yes. And what grade were you in? Fourth. Fourth. Fourth grade. Wow. So in the fourth grade, you hand deliver a a letter to the principal of your school saying this is not right. Yeah. And and here's the solution. What did the prince? What was the response from your principal? <laughs> um, we can have a meeting, Jeez. and I had demanded a meeting in the in the letter, and we did have a meeting. Hold it. You 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 <laughs> you told your principal you wanted to meet to discuss this problem. <laughs> Yes. Oh my goodness, that is too unbelievable. All right, so so your your you said we have to have a meeting. Let's yeah. let's sit down and have this meeting and you had the meeting. Yes, after school. Okay. That same day? No. Um, no, it was a few days after. Okay. And was it just you and her or was it you Just and, me and her. Just you and her. Yes. Wow. And what, <laughs> how did that meeting go? What took place in there? What'd she say? She, I discussed about all, all the other solutions and all the things we could do to raise money. That I hadn't written the letter because the letter was three pages. I thought that was enough. So, <laughs> and I, and I still had more solutions. So, wow. so I ended up, um, we, then I started, and she said that it, it did take money um, that we didn't have. So I started a committee so that we can raise money. Okay. So, um, okay, let's, let's, let's recap kind of a little bit here. Um, Zeph, and how old were you? So you were nine years old when this. Yes. Okay. So at nine years old. Zeph is on the playground, ladies and gentlemen, and, and he sees one of his friends who's bound to a wheelchair, who has disabilities, sees one of his friends sitting on the side in, in his wheelchair, unable to get on the playground, or, or wasn't sure why he wasn't on the playground, actually. So he went over to his friend and said, why aren't you out here playing with us? And his friend said, I can't get on the playground because of the wood chips and and right boundaries. and the what they were literally um boundaries they were literally huge wood planks that were separating them uh, you had to take a huge jump to get over them i got you i got you so he he was he was not able to access the playground and you you oh i lost you there are you there um yeah I lost your video feed. Oh. Huh, lost, it's... lost your video. Um, you may want to click the video off and back on again. See if that helps. I don't know. Um, there, you're back. You're back. Um, okay. so, so he couldn't access the playground. And the, there were huge wood planks stopping him from even getting on to, in, onto the wooden chips, the mulch stuff yeah and but there was a wheelchair swing and there's wood chips around it and boundaries but there's a ramp it's so it's just a ramp leading in to quicksand they tried putting mats down onto it but the mat the mats just sunk into the wood chips oh my gosh 
So, um, so you you said this is ridiculous, and I want to do something about it. And you go and you you write a you do some research and you write. Now, did you write the letter to your principal that same night? Um, I started on it. It took me maybe about a month or so. Okay, okay. But you, so you got this in your head that I'm going to change this and I'm going to help my friends and everyone else that's bound to a wheelchair that has disabilities that can't access the playground. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that is absolutely an incredible story, number one. Number two, the fact that you have the heart to, to do something about it. I, I love that. I love yeah. that. It's amazing. So, so Zef, you, um, and for people who don't know, it's Z-E-P-H is, is his name, Zef Everson, right? Right. And uh, is now you've begun doing something about it through something called Recess for All, right? Hashtag Recess for All. Hashtag. Never the hashtag Re out. If you don't search, if you go on Google and search up Recess for All, it won't come up. You have to have the hashtag. Hashtag Recess. And is it the number four or F O R? F O R. F O R. So Recess. Hashtag. I'm going to put that up on the screen here while we talk. Yeah, and when you say it, you do this while you're saying hashtag. He can't, you, he can't see you. You've got it. Here. Oh, hashtag recess for all. I got you. So it's hashtag recess for all. I've got it up on the screen now. So, um, and is that on, is that on Facebook as well? Yes and Twitter, and Instagram, and YouTube. So so tell me, Zeph, tell me some of the things. Now, this was last year, right? Yeah. Right. You were in the fourth grade. You're in the fifth grade now. Yes. And you're currently on Christmas break. Yes. Good. Um, so so you, you um, I mean, so you went right into action. Yes. <laughs> Who are you shushing over there? <laughs> My three-year-old sister who's playing with the Christmas tree. Oh, so. Go that upstairs. Is, that's I'm funny. in the middle of a meeting. He's in, he's in a very important business meeting here. So, so Zeph, you went and, and you met with your principal, and your principal said, we don't have the money. That was, that was her answer. Yes. Um, what was your response to her saying well we don't have the money i was going to start raising money wow and so tell me what what how that went tell me how that started um so i started and uh, i started lemonade stands and yard sales Eventually, I gave up yard sales because they were too much work, so I stuck with lemonade stands. That got us even more money. What? So, yeah, they got. I got two hundred and fifty dollars off a lemonade stand, and then thirty dollars off a yard sale. And you donated all of that to your goodwill. No, 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 no. The, the money. No. Oh, the money was for uh, that was to my project I'm doing. Wow. All the rest of the stuff that I didn't sell at the yard sale went to Goodwill. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So you took all this money that you worked hard for, right? Right. And you donated it to your cause. You, you, didn't, yeah. go, you didn't go buy a new bicycle or anything with it? No. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, that, I think that it's so commendable of, of you to do that. It's unbelievable. So... So you started doing um, lemonade stands to start this cause. And I, I understand that you've actually been able to raise quite a bit of money so far. Yes. Can you can you share with me how much money you've raised so far? Almost about $51,000. $51,000. Yep. Wow. That is incredible, Zeph. 
fifty-one thousand all in lemonade? No, no, not all in lemonade. Right. So, so I ended up starting a committee, um, a kids committee, <laughs> and we um planned stuff to raise money. Okay. So, so we ended. So the first thing that we did was a school was a school fundraiser called the Fall Fest. No, no, the booster thon. The booster thon, and after that we got thirty five thousand. Wow. Wow! 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 And then after that we ended up. Um, doing a fall festival, which we got about three thousand dollars off of. Jeez! Now I heard that you you had I heard that you did some sort of a, a festival, right? Would you call right. it a fall festival? Fall festival. Okay, and was that at the school? Yes, I do most of my stuff at the school. Okay, so it was at the school. You did a fall festival. How many people showed up for that? Over 400. Over 400. Wow. That is awesome. That is awesome. So, have you have you been able to effectively... <laughs> are you shushing your mom now? Oh, no. my goodness. Yes. <laughs> you spend your business. So, um... And I also have business letters, and I made recess for all ornaments. Hashtag recess for all ornaments. You have what now? Say that again. Hashtag recess for all ornaments. Ornaments. Yes, for Christmas trees. Okay, you make them? Yes. Wow. Where do you sell those? I say sell them on my Facebook page. Wow. Which is recess for all. Yes. Oh, yes. Wow. Because you can't put a hashtag in Facebook as your name for some reason. I have a buddy that knows how to do that. Actually, I'll I'll um I'll I'll ask him about this. So Zeph, uh, first off, I'm sitting here at 50, I'm fifty years old, by the way. So I'm forty years older than you. I'm old, aren't I? Let's just be real. No, not really. <laughs> not old yet. Right. You're old when you're 70. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, I hope my mother-in-law is not watching. <laughs> I'm kidding. So, so okay, like, I, I'm blown away by you. I'm absolutely blown away because most kids are, are you know, my, my eight-year-old daughter is concerned about playing a lot. She's concerned about you know, at, at school, she, she likes going out to recess and playing on the playground and all of that. Um, and your concern is more focused on how you can help kids that are disabled um, be able to play on the playground. That just blows me away. So you started this, this kids committee. What Kid the, committee. Kid committee? Yes. Okay. Kid There's committee. There's 24 kids on it. There are 24 kids on your committee? Yes. Wow. Gee, many Christmas. And tell me what the kid committee is about. We we have meetings on Chick-fil-A Spirit Nights and we have um we have Google Drive meetings where we all meet and then you you mark if you're there by putting a smiley face emoji. Okay. And and do most of them show up for the meeting? Yes, and then we talk about ideas and the kid committee started the um fall festival. Oh my goodness. Wow. That and they're all kids from your school? Y yes. Wow, you are quite the amazing young leader. Wow. So, okay, so you've you've raised about $51,000. Um, by the way, I'm going to send this video to a very, very good friend of mine who actually does fundraisers for schools and churches all over the world. 
Um, awesome. That is a he's 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 a uh, he's he's you'll see. I'm going to introduce you guys. Um, he's somebody that could definitely help you with this, and I'm talking millions of dollars, not 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 thousands. This guy's yeah. So um, you're you're an impressive young man. I'm so so impressed by you. So how how can um, I mean, what's your ultimate goal? Um, my ultimate goal is to get it national and work. Yes, national. What do you mean by that? Whole world. You want the whole world to have what? To have, I want to have, I want the whole world to have inclusive playgrounds. Have what? Inclusive playgrounds. Inclusive playgrounds. What does that mean? And that's not what it means. Okay. <laughs> inclusive means that it, it's accessible for everybody to play on it. Oh my goodness! Wow. And how do you know um, our mutual friend Chuck Studebaker? He used to be my Sunday school teacher. Was he really? Yes. He's he would be a great Sunday school teacher. Was he a great Sunday school teacher? Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't I, stay in school without him. I wouldn't stay in preschool without him. Wow. Remember that. He's he's a he's a good man. Very very good man. So so Zeph. What is it that, you know, I, I don't know how many people will see this. Hopefully millions of people see this video. But what is it that you hope people um, learn from you? I hope that people will learn to care about others. Wow. That, and that's... not about themselves. Um, others before them. Olive, go upstairs. <laughs> except for except for little sisters, <laughs> right? I'm kidding. I want all kids to know that they matter. Oh, that's awesome, man. That's so awesome. So, um, wow. How can people help you? What's the um, best they way? Can do they can make a, not just any donation, but a tax-deductible donation. Ah, and how do they on, donate on to you? Page. On your Facebook page? Yes, in every post I put the link up. Awesome. And the <clears throat> the link to donate is that to a website or it's just straight through Facebook? It it takes you to a website where you can donate through the Gwinnett Foundation. Through the Gwinnett Foundation. Okay. Is there a PayPal address people could send money to? Yes. What is that? Annalisa Everson at gmail dot com. Okay, so what I'm gonna that's so mom, I'm gonna ask you to come back on this post after we're done and just just put that in the comments if you would. Okay. So, um, Zef, what else? What? Let me ask you this because you're you might be one of the wisest people. I've ever met and you're only 10 years old that's amazing so let me ask you this I, I, I want to ask you what do you think keeps people from from taking action like you're doing what do you think most what holds people back what made you go I'm writing a letter to to my my principal I'm gonna sit down with my principal and say this is ridiculous and we need to come up with a solution your principal says I'm sorry, but we just don't have the budget for it. And you said, no, we're going to figure out how to make the budget. I'm going to raise money and make this happen. And you've, you've done it. You've raised $51,000 in a year, right? In one year. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, <laughs> are you distracted? What are, what are you asking? Okay, the magnet. Oh, that sounds weird. Are you there? Yeah, I'm there. Okay. So, um, so you've raised $51,000 in one year. Yes. That's amazing, Zeph. That's amazing. So your, your Facebook page is recess for all. 
Yes. Right? And somebody, uh, Olivia Eve, just put in the PayPal address. That's my mom. That's your mom? Yes. Okay, great. So I'm going to put that up on the screen right now. So there's the PayPal address for anybody who would like to donate to Zeph's amazing, amazing, I, I mean, it's absolutely an amazing cause. So, I, you know how I have my own ornaments? Yes. I have a few of my own other stuff, too, like I have my own magnets. You have magnets. Oh. Oops. <laughs> um, um. Yeah, the screen's right there. Back, back it up a little bit. You gotta back it up a little bit. Right. Nope. Nope. Right. Right there. Oh, that's cool. Very nice. Yeah, it had. There's just one problem with it. It has one word cut out of my saying, which was everyone deserves to play together. And what's it say on it? Everyone deserves to play. Oh, they took out the, they took out the together, huh? Yeah. Uh, so let me ask you this. In, in one year so far, have there been any changes made on the playground at your school? Um, no, not really. Not yet. We have enough to do phase one of three phases, but we're still, um, we're, we have to wait till March to break ground because the rubber flooring that we're going to put in is going to, it has to have perfect weather conditions. I got you. Wow. And it takes three days to dry. Wow. I am so blown away by you. Like, I'm so impressed by you. Most people in this world do not think the way you think, and I love the way you think. It's amazing. You keep that that amazing heart that you have, and you keep giving and helping people, and your life is going to be absolutely an amazing life, I promise you. I, I, I'm, I, I don't even know. I, I, I'm, I never am speechless, but I'm almost speechless. Like, it's, it's incredible what you're doing to help these children. It's incredible. And I have a lot of friends on here right now that are sharing this out. There's going to be a lot of people that, that see you and are blown away by you. And I'm going to introduce you to some of my friends who I know for sure um, that, that they can help you with your, your cause. For okay. sure. So, um, Zeph, is there anything else you'd like to share with my audience today? about what you're doing no not really okay well i i really that, genuinely that they can meet me on my facebook page say that again except that if they want to tell me something you can search up my facebook page i had it looks like your mom put it up there i i have it up on the screen it's facebook.com forward slash recess for all is your Facebook page. Everybody, go give his Facebook. I, I'm I, I'm so like I'm blown away by this, and I, I'm going to go out of my way to help you. I, I I think you're amazing, and I think what you're doing is amazing. So everybody, go to Recess for All on Facebook right now and like his page. Give him a, a donation. I don't care if it's five dollars, but help this kid out. Or even twenty three cents. Um, 23 cents? Because it helps. Somebody actually did donate a quarter. Really? Yeah. Well. Because they said so on my Facebook pages. <laughs> because it, it helps. Every penny adds up, doesn't it? Yep. I love it. I love it, man. You're, you're awesome. You are absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing your story. Uh, you're I, I'm going to have you come back on maybe a, a year from now and see where we are with everything. How's that sound? That'd be awesome. I, I think, yeah, let's stay in touch. Maybe I'll have you come on soon, or maybe we'll do it once a month or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's but good. I, I once want, a month would be good. What's that? <laughs> once a month would be good. Yeah, that, well, you'd have to skip school. Um, 
I could do that. <laughs> my, my mom, my mom's a teacher. She could pull me out, and also, oh. um, the counselors could pull me out. My dad could pull me out. He's a bus driver. Love it. I love it. Oh, wow. Wow. So, so listen, let's let's definitely stay in touch. Let let me. Um, I'm I'm gonna put you in touch with some people. I'm gonna I'm gonna. I'm gonna get some people, get you some attention, big time attention. Hey, um, hey, hey, Chuck Stubaker. So. <laughs> yeah, Chuck's just, on here. Chuck yeah. is on here. He's a good. He is such a good friend of mine. He's a good guy. Love that guy. So, um, thank you very much. Really, genuinely appreciate it. Make sure you go back through the comments, everybody. Make sure that you go. To recess for all, recess for all. I'm gonna put it back up on the screen. Recess Facebook.com forward slash recess for all. Like his page and let's help support this this young man's dream of making playgrounds accessible for everybody, every kid in the world. Every kid in the world. I love it. And if you didn't see the beginning of his story, go back and watch the replay of this. And please share this out. If you already shared it, please share it again. Man, we're getting a lot of hearts and thumbs up here. You, you're you awesome, dude. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Zep. Thank you. Thanks. Don't hang up on, don't hang up on Skype. We're going to end the Facebook Live. Thank you guys so much. Have an awesome day. And Bye. we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. I don't want to